who wouldn't be tempted if they received an email from as prominent a journalist as now slain Jamal Khashoggi. Saudi dissident journalist Ali Al Ahmad received such emails from someone posing as the late journalist insisting on clicking on malicious links. How did this happen? Can anyone send an email from anybody? So emails are basically like letters. Anyone can put anything on them as sender address. So you can't really trust what your email program is showing you. And in addition to that, you can also just open up another Gmail account that has the name of another person in it. We show you the most common tricks attackers use to fake the sender's address. Essentially, anyone can register an email address under any name. That's how the attacker wrote to Al Ahmad from Hashogji's name. Using another name is quite common, and I don't expect this to go away anytime in the future. But if you search for the person that you are suspecting that has sent you this email, it's usually pretty easy to verify and find out the true email address of a person. In another trick, attackers abuse that most email programs by default display names instead of full email address. For example, if someone selects Joe Biden attacker at example.org as the sender, most email clients will still display just the name Joe Biden as the sender. So there are multiple ways on how you can forge sender email addresses. And for one simple trick, it's actually very easy to detect that someone has been doing this. The only thing that you have to do is to tell your email program to show you the full email address instead just a short name. In this trick's most extreme form, attackers can even spoof the entire sender address. So there are some technologies out there that try to fix this problem. But it will be a long, long time until this will be fixed in a practical manner. Uh, and the reason is that basically every email provider out there has to deploy the same kind of technology. And that's a very, very difficult and lengthy process. 